Yeah, hi everybody, Do Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, uh, New South Wales, Australia. I found this story. Primary school teacher tried invading Temple of Jehovah Witnesses when eight of ten drunk, hear hearing hears. <clears throat> there she is, happy soul. Wonder what caused her to get angry. A primary school teacher tried to invade a hall full of Jehovah Witnesses after getting eight out of ten drunk at an end of term staff party a hearing heard. Samantha Bearsford, 51, was out of with, with colleagues when she got into an argument with worshippers outside the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah Witnesses in Swansea. The teacher swore at members of the temple as she attempted to confront her sister-in-law, who she believed was inside, over her views on homosexuality. Bearsford refused to leave the premises and grabbed one of the worshippers by the neck, which caused which caused her to bleed, or him to bleed. Now, there wouldn't have been a blood transfusion had it have been the jugular. There would not have been a blood transfusion had Mrs. Bereford grabbed this cult member round the neck and cut her jugular. The incident back in January 2016 led to a criminal conviction of assault by beating, but she has now also been stripped of her teaching qualification after the Carter's fit Fitness to practice panel deemed her unsuitable for the profession. There's the Kingdom Hall in all its glory. It might have happened here on the on the grass or maybe on the footpath. That, you know, we don't know. <clears throat> witnesses said Bereford was heard by the witnesses shouting obscenities, making sexual references and swearing at Jehovah Witnesses. Well, I'd say the Jehovah Witnesses would be starting getting would be getting used to that by now, wouldn't they? She was seen making a lured gesture on the steps outside the Kingdom Hall where an altercation took place. Case presenter Cody Dewey said Samantha Bareford attempted to enter a Kingdom Hall of Jehovah Witnesses while intoxicated following celeb celebratory drinks at the end of the school term. There was an altercation with a member of the congregation outside the hall when she refused to leave the premises. The teacher had been working a 500-pupil Town Hill Community School in Swansea and told police she had been 8 out of 10 drunk. Church member Gavin Young said she was shouting when she walked up the path towards me and she was making references to a relative and making references to her religious views on homosexuality. She wanted to walk past me through the open door, so I grabbed her wrist and she grabbed me by the neck. Well, he grabbed her first and held on to my throat for five seconds, which resulted in a bleed. <laughs> Again, lucky he didn't need a transfusion because that could have got nasty. He might have got, might have got kicked out with her. Beresford of Skeddy, Swansea, was convicted of assault by beating, a Swansea mag by beating at Swansea Magistrates Court in 2016. The teacher who worked at the school since 1991 and was well thought of as fined £600 in order to pay £50 in compensation. In a statement, Bareford said, Against my better judgment, I walked towards the hall. <laughs> Against anybody's better judgment. You want to stay away from those things. Shouting expletives, believing my relative to be inside. I had more to drink than usual and was tired after a busy term. I deeply regret my actions, which led to my arrest and caused great distress to my family. <laughs> The incident continues to have a devastating effect. Well, she lost a career, didn't she? I let myself, my family, my friends and school down badly and I'm ashamed and embarrassed. It's something I will regret until the day I die. Cardis Fitness to Practice Panel Chairman Jacqueline Turnbull said Mrs. Bareford had not demonstrated a significant <laughs> level of insight. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> maybe Mrs. Um, Bareford knew more than what you know, the normal Joe Blow does. But she, she failed to demonstrate a significant level of insight into her behaviour. Oh, goodness. She was suspended from teaching for six months and will have to reapply to join the teacher's register. Poor old Mrs. Berriford, where is she? Oh, I wonder if she poked his eye out. Don't know what happened to that poor old bugger. But there she is, poor bugger. Done the lot. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. 
this isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one old life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.